Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for November 27th to the 28th of 2021. All right, let's get into it with an Oracle card message for Libra. Next 48 hours for my Libras. November 27th to the 28th of 2021. All right, let's see. Okay, we have Black Cat Independence. Love that. Seal Vulnerability. Someone sees you being alone as a weakness when really you're just a very capable, independent person. It's like someone's looking at you like, oh, she's so vulnerable. She Or he's so shy. No, that's the opposite. <laughs> See, like I said, bored ferocity. Someone's, yeah, someone's um, misinterpreting you. Over energy is swan. Fidelity. Okay. So this person may, you may be in a relationship already. For those of you who are already in a relationship, there's someone who's trying to catch you when you buy yourself and try to like get your number or something, or someone's trying to find out if you're single. Also, if you're not in a relationship, there's someone here who like, they're intimidated by your independence or how confident you look, because look at you, this is you right here, Libra. This is you, very confident, very independent, very sure of yourself. And then here's this person looking at you like, oh. I don't know if I could talk to Libra. <laughs> and then we got the bore ferocity. Someone, someone's going to make a move. Okay. Someone's going to make a move. And if this person don't, this person will. <laughs> All right. But I see overall energy fidelity. You're about to meet the love of your life. And if you've already got the love of your life, there's someone who, who, um, who may want to impede on that. And whether you're in a relationship or not. Okay. You got somebody coming towards you. And if you are not with the love of your life, they got to roll up for Libra. Next 48 hours for Libra for November 27th to the 28th of 2021. All right, let's, let's see what's going on. What's going on? We had a three of wands. What did I say? Some coming in, ships coming in. Two of pentacles. I feel like it's at least two people, too. Two people are looking at you. Two of cups. Two peas in a pod. Two of pentacles. Empress, there you are. And there you are. I mean, look. Orange is the king of wands. Now, this person ain't scared. This person, okay, maybe they are shy, but they also got this wild side to them. Because when I see vulnerability, I also see ferocity. So this person, they're very shy when they're around you, but this person is very confident and capable. So maybe because you match this person's in energy and confidence, or maybe you're not like, okay, so you're confident, right? But you're very calm with it. You have this calm, capable, calm. Look, look at this stare. Just look at this stare alone. You get what I mean. Very calm, very confident. You don't have to do too much. That stare alone is enough. And then she even got the stare right here with the Empress. I don't know if you can see it clearly because of the glare. And then here comes the King of Wands. Fire. It's a fire sign coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And they are extremely attracted to you. They're very shy and appro approaching you, but trust and believe. Don't, don't let that exterior fool you. Underneath, they are like a beast for you, all right? They're extremely attracted to you. But I feel like you're a good match. You're a good pair. Clarify this for Libra. I feel like you're um, Morticia and Gomez. So you see how Morticia, she's very flirty, but she's, um, she's more calm than Gomez. He's more outlandish and he speaks all this French and he's like, you know, a lot grandiose um, actions of love. So yeah, I'm getting like Gomez and Morticia Adams energy. Clarifying Three of Wands is the Magician, that is Virgo and Gemini, and King of Cups. So there we go, that other sign. The King of Cups, Those if there's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, fuck them. Okay, no. They're a no, I don't like them, because they're coming up as very manipulative. 
So there's a water sign or someone who tries to be emotionally manipulated, try to play with your head, wishy-washy ass bitch. I don't like the water sign. I'm sorry. I don't like that shit, especially with vulnerability. If there's someone around you who's insecure, cut them off. We all have insecurities, but this person is so insecure to the point where they're manipulative and controlling. I don't like the king of cups. They gotta go. Gotta go. All right, and it could also be a Virgo or Gemini. They gotta go. Clarifying the two of pentacles is the wheel of fortune. Yeah, as soon as this person, it's like you cycle them out. King of cups leaves, king of wands comes in. This, this king of cups is the vulnerability. The king of wands is the fire. Go for the confident person. Three of wands. See, three of wands is here twice. As soon as you cycle out this manipulative, emotionally manipulative person, draining, insecure person, here comes this fire sign. Clarifying the two of cups is the two of wands. I mean, notice the synchronicities. We have three twos. We have two, two, two. Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Two of Wands, and then we have the Three of Wands here twice. All right, and then we have the Three of Pentacles, so now we have Three, Three, Three. Two, 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 and Three, Three, Three. So let me write that down. Clarifying the Empress is the Nine of Cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Yes, you are. Okay, yes, you are. And Nine of Swords. All right, so someone's losing sleep over you. Overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. I think you should go for the King of Wands. I think you should go for the fire sign. All right. I mean, you could have manifested this King of Cups, but I'm not really feeling them because they could be manipulative. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, oh, this is three of pentacles here. Teamwork, collaboration, synergy with the two of cups, soulmate, energy, wish fulfillment. Also, for some of you, if it's not two people, this person could just have two sides of them. They're very soft, but underneath it, it's just, maybe you're so used to seeing this person is very vulnerable and shy and this other side of them comes out too. It's going to be very clear to you in the next 48 hours who's meant for you though. Now, if it's two people, I say go with the fire sign, but I feel like there's someone in your life who's about to show you the other side to them. I feel like they've been very shy with you and that is the, that's because you make them nervous. You're very confident. But they're about to let out that other side of them. Overall, with Fidelity, I see you finding your match, the one. And for, I feel like for a majority of you, it's one person with two sides. But for others of you who are dealing with two people, go with the, the King of Wands. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe if you like a more, a softer approach, you could go with the King of Cups. But I, I prefer, I think you should go with the King of Wands. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Libra. Namaste.